Hey everyone, it's Victoria here and today I wanted to share with you how I do my makeup on a daily basis. I uh, don't wear makeup every single day but it's just easier for me to do it now when the kids are already at school and I have the other two kids downstairs watching TV or eating breakfast. Um, now if I get up early enough, I can do my makeup and not have to worry about it for the day. I use basically all drugstore products. In the video you'll see that I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and I have that because of not acne but zeaboric dermatitis. An adult version of cradle cap like what babies get. It's like having extremely dry skin and oily skin. At the same time, anybody else has the same issues and want to learn more about zeaboric dermatitis, I can make a separate video about that. I really don't spend a whole lot on makeup and when I do, I like to hit the clearance section. I'm not really into high-end brands. I mean, I would like to try it, but I don't, I can't see myself dishing out more than 20 bucks for one item when I can spend it on something else. All the information about the products will be down below in the description box. All the information and the different steps of what I use and a little bit of more information about my skin type will be on the blog. If you like these type of videos, let me know in the comment section and I'll actually make more. Hey guys, so even though I have extremely oily skin and dry skin, I still moisturize before I put on my primer and my foundation. Here I'm using NYX Shine Killer Primer. It's not the best primer I've used. Um, I still get shiny throughout the day. Only six bucks, so I can't complain. First I'm applying CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I like this foundation because it's lightweight. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup all day and it's not cakey. Now I'm applying Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Uh, this is more of a full coverage and I'm only applying this to the hyperpigmentation areas, which is my forehead, my cheeks, and my chin. If I don't wear a whole lot of makeup or do a whole full face, the main thing that I will focus on is my eyebrows. One of the side effects of having zeaboric dermatitis is hair loss and I lost a lot of hair from my eyebrows. Here I'm just using a brown eyeshadow and just following the shape of my actual eyebrow. I'm spraying my face with Urban Decay Oil Deep Slicker Setting Spray. When it comes to bronzer, I like to pack it on, like really pack it on. I'm just using e.l.f. face bronzer, and I think it's like a dollar. For an everyday look, I don't really highlight because I only get like a half an hour to do my makeup before the boys are screaming at me or the kids wake up in the morning. So instead of wasting all my time trying to highlight, I'd rather just contour. As you can see, I put a lot. Since I don't have a bridge of a nose, I usually make one by contouring, so if it looks like I got a nose job done, that's why. And then I go in with a flat top brush that is clean and blend all the harsh lines out. I 
again, I'm kind of heavy handed with blush and bronzer, but when it comes to blush, I like a lot. And then I'll blend it out again with the flat top brush. I normally don't wear eyeliner. Um, if I do, it's just to tight line my waterline. If I do wear anything on the top, it's liquid line eyeliner. Here I'm just blending out the eyeliner that I put on the top line. I didn't want it to be a sharp line. Just so you guys know, I will put everything that I used in the video in the description box, so be sure to check that out. He likes to call me features when we get this nasty Red wine drip will pop that trash Show for ease dropping trying not to crash Oh the daddy daddy now you rip my face Oh baby baby be sweating on my head What if I'm in to get out dressed up I am extremely picky about mascara It has to be a certain texture, certain formula And the only one that I've stuck by with for all these years is CoverGirl mascaras I've tried many other ones and I hate them Even though I have dry, flaky skin, I still put powder on my skin to set the whole look all together and then I'll spray it with the Urban Decay Oil Dislick Setting Spray. If I don't do this step at all, my face will be a grease ball within a few hours. Sorry the mirror is in the way, I didn't realize I was right in the focus of the camera. And I am using a pinky mauve type of color. This is my natural lip color, so I prefer to stick to these type of colors than doing something wild and crazy. And that's the end of the look. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.